Okay, here we go. I'm going to make my art for my uh, project. Again, I took a screen grab. You can see the screen grab. This is kind of the window that we have to work with, basically. This is the, the window that you have, okay? Inside that window, I'm going to find some artwork that I want to make that is going to fit in that window. I did find my dog walkers right here. You can see my dog walking guy right there. Next, I'm going to duplicate this by... In the layer window, I'm going to duplicate my dog by clicking on the layer with the dog. I copied and pasted the picture into this window here. I'm going to duplicate by dragging next to the trash can. That makes a new layer, a copy of that layer. So I have two exactly the same on top of each other. And I'm going to erase uh, some dogs. So let's erase, uh, let's erase a dog. How I'm going to erase a dog is using this tool right here. It's called the rubber stamp tool or clone stamp tool. How the clone stamp tool works is by duplicating an area of the screen. And so I'm basically going to remove a dog by putting the background of the dirt there. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Command plus zooms in. Uh, the space bar gives you a hand. You can move around. And so I'm going to get rid of this dog right here by holding my option key down. Again, I'm using this tool right here, the, the clone stamp tool. It's this one right here called the clone stamp tool. And you can change the size right here if you want. And you'll notice it has like this little brush. Do you see the brush? It's like a little circle right there. That, that's basically going to copy an area. So I'm going to hold my option key down and I'm going to click on an area like the dirt here, option click. And then I click on my dog and I'm going to erase one of the dogs. Again, click in there. We're going to erase the dog, erase the shadow. Okay. We, I'm going to do it kind of soon. So one dog is done. So again, they have all the dogs. Somebody gets the wrong letter. Boom. A dog is gone. A dog is gone. There we go. One dog gone. I'm going to duplicate that again by clicking and holding and, and duplicating this layer again. So we have one dog done. Okay, second time, let's erase uh, this dog here. So again, I'm going to erase him using the clone stamp tool. How do you use the clone stamp tool? Option click selects an area. Option click, I'm going to select multiple parts. There we go. I'm going to oh, zoom out. The mouse went nuts on me here. There we go. We got a dog gone here. Okay, dog gone. And if I had time, I might, you know, try and clean this one up, put put the hair back on this dog here with the leashes there. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller here. Let's get rid of some of this leash here. There we go. Look at that. Get rid of the leash. Get rid of the leash. Okay. Get rid of that leash. Get rid of that leash. I'm doing this quick. I know. Sloppy. Sloppy. Maybe get rid of this leash here. Oh, and this leash needs to go too, doesn't it? Okay. So that's, uh, we have three now. We have, we have all dogs. Somebody guesses it wrong. Boom. Dog gone. Somebody guesses it wrong. Boom. Dog gone. Okay, let's duplicate that. I'm going to duplicate du by dragging the layer onto the next to the trash can duplicates here. So let's move over on this side and let's get rid of this dog. Let's get rid of this dog, this big one right here. So there you go. Clone stamp tool. There he is. I'm going to get rid of him. Dog gone, dog gone, dog gone, dog gone, dog gone. Here we go. Oh, let's get rid of his shadow. Dog gone. Dog walkers. Okay. Okay. That dog is gone. So now I have four. I have all dogs. Miss a letter, dog gone. Miss a letter, dog gone. Miss a letter, dog gone. Let's duplicate this letter layer. And let's remove this dog now. Remove this dog here. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. There we go. He's gone. This dog is gone. This dog is gone. Dog gone. Dog gone. Okay. That dog is gone. So we got how many now? Let's see. All dogs. One dog missing. Two dog missing. Three dog missing. Four dog missing. Okay, next one. Um, let's duplicate that again. 
Uh, let's get rid of this dog over here. How many do I need? I got uh, eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. I get. Let's get rid of all these dogs right here. Let's get rid of all of them right there. So again, I'm going to hold down the option key. Remove dog. Remove this dog. Dog's all gone. Dog's all gone. Okay. Those dogs are gone. Okay. Dog gone, dog gone, dog gone, dog gone, dog gone. One, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we need, let's duplicate this one more time. Let's get rid of uh, these dogs right here. We'll see. The last dog will be a nice black dog there. Okay, he's gone. Let's get rid of this dog. Get rid of this dog. Okay, all dogs are gone except for one. It's a little dirt in there. A little, bit, a little dirt in there. I don't know. I'm just doing this fast. Okay, so last one. Last one. Uh, we're going to remove this dog. So duplicate that. And now we're going to get rid of this dog here. Get rid of the dog. And now this guy has no dogs left. So again, here we go. Dog walker has all dogs. One dog missing. Two dog missing. Three dog missing. Four dog missing. Five dog missing. Six dog missing. Seven dog missing. So that's one way you can go about it. It's kind of sloppy because the, the clone stamp tool is not very pretty. right? It's not very nice. But I'm just trying to give you a concept of that. So how I would save that then was I would go file, save as, and save each layer out. So I'd save this one as, remember this one is 001, right? So this is dog space zero. And remember it's a PNG. PNG is format. Dog zero PNG. Do you see that? Make sure there's a space and a zero, right? And then save that and then save that and then remove this one this would be file save as make sure it's a PNG and this would be dog oh, capital D here dog one dog one and then turn off the eyeball save as again this would be dog make sure it's PNG and dog two and so on. So you go all the way up to there. So that's one way of going about it. Let's say you wanted to use vector. Maybe you're trying to do something. Maybe you're doing flowers. Maybe you like flowers. Who likes flowers? Everybody loves flowers. So let's say we want to do a vase of flowers and every time the every time they get it wrong the flower falls from the vase. How about that? Okay, so let's do another example of vase of flowers. We'll use Illustrator. So I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to go find flowers on the Internet. And let's find a vase of flowers, or let's just find a flower. We need one daisy with a stem. Can we find a daisy with a stem? Oh, maybe this one. Where was it? This one was close to being good. That one almost would work. Okay, this one might work. Okay, so I'm going to make a vase of flowers with this, this flower right here. And then every time they get it wrong, a flower falls on the ground. How about that? Here we go. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to copy this into Illustrator and make it into a vector and then duplicate that vector. Okay, here's how I do it. I'm going to right click on here, copy image. Oh, why can't I copy image here? Oh, I'm in, I'm in uh, Flickr. So in Flickr, you don't really copy the image. There's a download button over here in Flickr. In the lower right corner right here is a download button. If you click on that, you can download. I'm going to download the image big, and it downloads the picture. Save it. 
So again, download the picture here. It puts it into the downloads folder. Next, I'm going to go into the Illustrator. And let me delete the dog walker here. So in Illustrator, I'm going to start with a new image in Illustrator. And uh, hit create, new image, just hit new image, whatever, file new. And I'm going to paste it in Illustrator by going and importing that picture of a flower that I just made. So I downloaded a flower. And I'm going to paste that in here by going under File, Place. And I'm going to find that picture. It's in Downloads. Here it is. Oh, not that one. There it is. Place it. And we're going to place it in there. There it is. So I'm going to convert this picture that you see here into a vector image. How you convert things into vector images, so this is a bitmap image, it's basically a photo, but I wanted to make it into a vector so I can make uh, uh, a vase of flowers. To do that, I'm going to use something called Image Trace. So if you go underneath Window, there's one called Image Trace right here. In the Image Trace option, I'm going to choose Mode as Color. And then under the Advanced Options, I'm going to say Ignore White. That will get rid of the white background. Ignore white, color, and I'm going to hit trace. It's going to go and convert that flower into a vector. When I'm done converting it into a vector, I'm going to remove this leaf that's there just so I have the flower. To do that, I'm going to go underneath object expand, object expand, and that converts everything into objects you can do stuff with. And so now I'm going to use the white selection tool, this one, to delete things. I'm going to delete this, select it, delete, 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 oh, delete, 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 there we go, delete, 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 okay, there we go. So now I have one flower. Let me uh, extend the stem here. I'm going to grab the points at the bottom there and extend it down. Okay, I have one flower. One flower. How about we duplicate this flower? And how many, how many do we need? Eight, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's make it a little smaller, and then uh, let's import our picture so we can get a ratio here. Let's import that picture. Remember the picture that we took, the screen grab? Where is that? That's here. Let's kind of make that here. There we go. There's our tree. So we want to uh, make this image the same size as this. I'm going to make the artboard the same size as this by going under Object, Artboard, um, Fit to, Selected Art. Boom. So now I have the artboard. It's the same size, and I'm going to delete that now. Okay, so I have one flower. And so uh, I guess we could make some dirt. You want to make a dirt for the flower to be in? We can make some dirt. Let's make some dirt. Pencil. Here, let's make it. Let's make a little mountain here. Let's make a little mountain of dirt. There we go. Let's make that d dirt. There we go. Okay, a dirt of mountains. Okay, so then uh, you can actually duplicate this by option click and dragging. So we can option click and drag. Maybe rotate it so it's the other way. Whoops. There we go, there's one there, option click and drag there, option click and drag there, option click and drag there. Maybe rotate that around that way. There we go. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Let's put one, oh, Woo, scale that a little bit. And one more, option click and drag, and let's rotate that around that way. There we go, there we go. So now I have kind of a bunch of flowers. So maybe when they get it wrong, a flower goes away. If you notice, there's a layers inside of, of 
Illustrator, just like you have inside of, uh, let me make this a little bigger. So you see, I have my artwork here like that. So I can do the same thing where I turn the eyeballs on and off and save them as a PNG. Remember, PNG is the one you would use inside of Illustrator. So in this case, if I wanted to do something like this with flowers, I could go under File, Save As in Illustrator. Instead of using the AI for Illustrator file, I use the PDF. And so this is all the flowers. So this would be number seven. So this would be flowers space seven dot PDF like that. Oh, we already have dot PDF. So we got that one. Remember, the first one's going to be zero. So let's take a flower away. And then this one will be six. So we'll call this flower six PDF. Okay. And then take one away. This will be flower, what did I say, five. Take one away. This will be flower, flower four. Take one away. This will be flower three. Take one away. This will be flower two. And then this will be flower one. And then the last one will be take no flowers. Save as, and that would be zero. Remember, the first one is zero. Okay. So anything, something like that, 